floor joist pile is shrinking, the beam pile is shrinking, there's only five left, yeah, five beams left, and most of the joinery is cut already. I have one more wall post to cut joinery in, I have two more wall post tenons to cut, and some odds and ends, brace mortises and housing. So we'll just roll the camera some while we're doing all this. Won't be a ton of explanation in the next couple of videos, but going to be a lot more doing. Also, uh, we're going to be firing up the sawmill. I have girts to cut, plenty of them, out of some 4 by stock that I uh, milled up already. So, anyhow, we're going to start it off tonight by just cutting some mortises with the router. Or some, excuse me, some. Uh, we're going to start it off tonight by cutting some uh, housings with the router. And... I'm going to see what I can get done in the next couple hours before the uh, carriage turns into a pumpkin, so stay tuned. little tape measure that was given to me by Jim Rogers and I'll find out where you can get these um, I'm not even sure I think you could probably find them through the forestry forum you guys know how you've seen any of the previous videos where I'm clamping uh, clamping the tape measure to the log with a clamp because I need to hold it over a foot or 10 inches or whatever this is really neat look at that right there see where it says zero it holds you over 10 inches already. It's awesome. And it's also it's also flat. Look at that. So accuracy guys and that right there. That's nice for accuracy. Could believe it or not, sometimes you lose a little bit of accuracy when you're uh, when you're rolling that tape measure over if you don't have it. You know what I mean? Believe it or not, you do a little bit. So thank you, Jim, for this. This was an awesome gift and uh, I said if I can, uh, I'll get with Jim and find out where people can get these, and uh, I will at some point put a link on the website or on the end of the, uh, probably on the website I'll put a link. Um, I don't make anything off of these, so I'm not trying to sell you anything. I just, it's kind of a neat thing, you know what I mean? So, but anyhow, thanks again, Jim. I kind of wish I'd had that throughout the... Uh, Throughout the process here, it'd be kind of cool. Now, something I didn't really cover very well before, and I probably should have. When you're cutting out your brace housings and your brace mortises, there's an edge right here. You want to 45 that edge. It's um, I cut them long enough, so I really don't need to. But it does look it looks a lot nicer. Um, just just a little FYI. There. And don't do what I have done in the past. Make sure you cut the right side of that. I have done that before and it does not make yourself very happy when you do that. So just so you know because there again you're wasting material. So because it's very important for that braise and you know, that braise. I'm not at work anymore. There's no brazing here right now. Brace. It's important for this brace that the uh, 
very important that that brace has that bearing area. That's the whole, it's one reason you're cutting that housing. So you want to maintain that. So if you chip that away, that's less bearing surface on that brace. And remember, like I said before, braces are going to work in compression. So there's going to be, you're going to be loaded right there at that point. Okay. At that point on this face and in the very bottom of the mortise. Okay. You're not going to be loaded in the back of the in the bottom or in the back of the mortise because you want to cut that tenon a good eighth of an inch short, or you want to sink your mortise about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch deeper. That way, as your timbers shrink, it doesn't that that mortise doesn't push the tenon out. I do not like to adjust routers with them plugged in. That is an invitation to disaster. Nice with the routers, you can get some real production in as long as your timbers are decently square. If they're not, you've got a whole other set of issues you have to deal with rather than using the router. But Last center pose, two cut, doo-da, doo-da. You guys realize that once these, uh, once this, floor, this first floor stood, the only thing, the only 10 by 10s, the last big, big timbers I have left are going to be the uh, top plates. And everything else is going to be smaller. Remember to do the right side here. Actually, you know what? Let's do it like this. It'll be a lot easier. Oh, there's that mortise, the chain mortiser got me on, bastard. It's going to be the girt I'll get to look at for the rest of my life. And no, and just know that that peckerhead mortise and clamp got me. It won. And I'll win the war. Last center post. Dunsky. 